a situation that could have ended very differently. Well, that's the continuation if Slavia can manage to get something on the score sheet. And they might do here because they're going to go through with Krejcikova. It's Teresa Krejcikova across the face and into the back of the net. Mihaila Kirova. And at last, the Champions League goal for Slavia Praha. And just when they needed it most, Karol Pitek celebrates. Bounced all the way through to Krejcikova. Could have gone for goal herself. Got it ahead up. And there was Kirova. Excellent cross, just had to find the target. Find it, she did. Now that's a rather loose ball. They've played themselves into all sorts of trouble and they have been punished. Valentina Giacinti gives Roma the lead. Bayern Munich, the architects of their own downfall. How important could that mistake be in the context of this group? Well, Bayern Munich were trying to play out from the back. It was just a loose touch. It was picked up by Giuliano, who was able to pick out Giacinti, who picked out the top corner. Well, Bayern Munich were trying to play out from the back. It was just a loose touch. It was picked up by Giuliano, who was able to pick out Giacinti, who picked out the top corner. A wonderful finish. Played. Harder. There's the header, and there is the equaliser for Bayern Munich. They have left it late. But the visitors are level. With four minutes to go, it was simple in the end. Harder pulled off to the right flank found the space, was able to get the ball in, and there was the header from Leia Schuler to find the bottom corner. It was perfectly placed, took a kiss off the upright. Oh, there's a chance! Have they stolen it right at the death? Giuliano fires Roma ahead in stoppage time. The Champions League dream is alive once again. Well worked down the right flank. The ball is fizzed in. Nobody picks up the run of Giuliano. And from six yards out, she's able to lash the ball home and lash Roma ahead and fire them to the top of Group C once again this season and what a big big goal it could be here comes the set piece headed down and headed in can you believe it by munich level once again Still, they cannot believe it the free kick was whipped in. It may have gone all the way through. Did anyone get a touch? Roma wanted a foul. They wanted a free kick. Her last goal in this competition in that semi-final against Barcelona. She's a scorer of big goals for Chelsea. Guru right and finds the finish. In the bottom corner, Chelsea lead. Guru right in with the... As things stand, Chelsea are topping the group and qualifying for the quarter-finals of the Women's Champions League. Sent the goalkeeper the wrong way, big celebration. Another big goal for Guru Raiten. Real Madrid with 
No real chances in this second half. That's a good ball, though, to find Hayley Rasso. Rasso in the penalty area. Hayley Rasso with the effort. Blocked, but it's put in by the substitute, Athena. Real Madrid level. Just as Chelsea were starting to dominate, Real Madrid get level. The shot blocked and put in by Athena del Castillo. I said she's looked sharp since coming on and she was alert. First to the ball, nothing Jess Carter to do. Game on. Lauren James. Cuthbert on the return in the penalty box. Aaron Cuthbert across the face of goal. And Chavez can only palm it into her own net. Chelsea back in front. Didn't take long. And it's poor goalkeeping from Mylene Chavez. She's at the heart of everything that Chelsea do here. Cuthbert does really well to get into the box. Her shot took a deflection off Catalan. And the goalkeeper could only push it into her own goal. It's poor goalkeeping, but you've got to praise the tenacity of Aaron Cuthbert. You're right. Baltimore. Lively play, still Baltimore. Lifts it in, it's a great ball, it's a super goal! No surprise that Maria Antoinette Catonso was on the end of it. Wonderful wing play. And in the seventh minute, PSG get their noses in front. At no stage did that ball leave the feet of Sandy Baltimore. It was like it was glued to her. Super control. Leaves the defender, Ashley Weirden, for dead. Look at that for a finish. Acrobatic. Decided to keep possession in their own half, but winning that ball back and breaking away is a big objective of theirs. Grant's giving it away. And this could be dangerous. A chance to make it two. A chance taken brilliantly by a brilliant striker, Marie Antoinette Katoto. Do not give a room like that, as she will punish you accordingly. PSG 2, Ajax 0. And she's still in the show all on her own this evening at the Parc de Prince, the top of the tree in Group C. Wonderful ball through the middle. Bides the time, waits for the goalkeeper to commit, and that is an unerring finish. She just keeps on doing that time and time again. She is one of the best strikers in world football in the women's game. That's a slip by Samora. They could get punished here. Romain Lukta going all alone. Lukta! Another clinical finish from another informed striker. And the whole complexion of this game changes in a heartbeat. And she allowed Rome Lukta to take it off of her. But look how much work she's still got to do. She drives forward, not too many options. She says to herself, let's go alone. And that is a brilliant finish into the bottom corner. Rome Lukta, it's 21 goals now this season. Nine in the Champions League. Oh, good challenge. She's everywhere, isn't she? Lilianes. Keep looking up to think there must be two of her out there because she's on the left and she's on the right. And now they've got to get back. Ajax, great ball in. Oh, yes, it eventually got smuggled home. Grace Giorgio, the captain, got the final touch. Great ball, takes it in a stride. The first touch is excellent. 
The cross is brilliant. It would have been an own goal by De Sanders. It was a super save, one-handed by the left hand of Van Eyck, but she pushes it straight out to Grace Gioro, who says, thank you very much. And Prod's home, Paris Saint-Germain's third goal of the evening, and they've got that two-goal cushion back. It's the semi-final. Known as that moment back then. Was to Frankfurt in 2004. And that's a goal! Fantastic strike from nowhere! And Rosengard have the lead. There's the skipper. Leading by example. He has sprung, it was, it laid it off, and it was just that played back by Erling. And what a curling effort that was. Had uh, pals at full stretch, but she just couldn't get there. Swing it. Okay, two headed away by Anna Dotti, only as far as Faria. Tries a shot from distance. Oh! Off the crossbar and into the back of the net. And Benfica have an equaliser. Looks like Jessica Silva is claiming it. Absolutely delighted. It was Anna Dottier's header. Faria just set herself. Look at that for a strike. Off the crossbar. And Jessica Silva was the quickest to react. Stunning effort. Off the bar. And there is Silva. Jansson. Keeps the ball in play. Well, that's a poor back pass. And this is a big opportunity for the second goal. And Benfica from behind have the lead. It's Ali Du. Janssen with an underhit back pass. And Ali Du nets her sixth Champions League goal. And that's that moment that Janssen will wish to forget great anticipation you've got to see from Ali Du but it was uh, laid on a plate for her she's rounded the goalkeeper before stroking the ball home Larson. Ulling, kind of whack in on goal! It's the equaliser for Rosengård. Fantastic move from the Swedes. And we're back level here. 82 minutes played in Malmö. Champions League, group stage goal. Larsson with the ball in field. Ulling, look at that pass. And Kadawaki, cool as you like. Pass Pals. Game on once again. A real neat striker's finish. And we've got a grandstand finish here. Moves it forward to Engersvik instead, who was onside. Lund to Gorpset. Gorpset going all the way. Oh, and it's crept in. An error from the keeper. And Brand take the lead. Is that the goal that secures them a place in the Champions League knockout stages? Gorpset got the ball here and she just kept going. She ran away from Molly McLaughlin. I think it was an attempted cross. Lucas Sova getting in the way, but she could only parry it behind her over the line into the net. And Brand take what could be a crucial lead. Basha to deliver once more. It's a teasing floater of a ball in, and Hegerberg's there to bundle it in for 1 0. Who else but Ada Hegerberg? Leon's pressure tells. It's been coming right throughout this first 20 minutes or so. And Ada Hegerberg has her fourth UEFA Women's Champions League goal this season. A poacher's finish after really good work in the air from Damaris Hegerola. 
leaps highest and just nods it down. Could be 2 0. Deflected, still not clear. Agarola on the turn went down. There was very, very little, if anything, in that. Referee quick to rightly dismiss the appeals, but it's 2 0 regardless. Two goals in as many minutes for Olympic Lyonnais. It's in the right place at the right time. After the Austrians just couldn't get it clear, some really neat skills just to get the ball out of her feet there, make half a yard of space before curling it into the corner. Nothing Karina Schluter could do. Up to once more. That show. Charging forward, has plenty of options. One of them's Derbritz, and Hegerberg is in there for an easy tap-in. Three nil to Olympic Lyonnais. Yellow card as well for Ella Tuon for a second of the night. A fifth in the Champions League this season. Schluter couldn't quite gather it. Debritz back there. Comes off the left foot of Debritz there. Huh? And scored two headers in the win against Slavia Praha by nine goals to nil earlier this season. And there she has another goal with a header. 4-0 Leon. They are running right and they are charging towards winning Group B in style, which it duly got. Fascist delivery. And completely unmarked. That's always going to pose big trouble for an opposing defence. Vanessa Gilles up from the back has yet another header to add to her collection. Thunderdong to take it. Thunderdong's corner comes back for the volley and Leon have five. An emphatic volley from Jennifer Maussan. Sat up so nicely to be hit. And the German midfielder needed no second invitation. Her first Champions League goal since December 2020, when scoring in the 3-0 win against Juventus. Underdog charging forward. And still going, what a run this is. Flicks it back. Debritz, clever pass. What's at the end of it all? Oh, that is. DNE nods it in. Olympic Lyonnais have six. And that is a masterpiece of a goal. Vanderdonk just kept going and going with that boundless energy that she's so well known for. Then had the intelligence to back heel it for Sarah Derbritz. And the teasing cross just begging for a finish. Got it from Cadidiato Diani. That's a fifth goal in the UEFA Women's Champions League this season. And so that means with five minutes to go at the Estadio Johan Cruyff. Looks a little bit more comfortable for the Catalan Giants. A seventh for Leon. Who are piling on the goals. Sarah Debritz has her second of the night. After Dieli only recently made it 6 0. Debritz just getting a bit of space, and that is a heck of a finish. Postage stamp stuff in terms of the precision from Sarah Debritz. That is the German at her brilliant best. Put it straight at the stopper, but this could be danger. Well, you can stop her once, but not the second time. Patrick Ihado gives Barcelona the lead. And it's what they do best. You can frustrate them, you can thwart them. Very few have been able to stop them completely. And the black. But as soon as she saw the opening, she wanted it there, Patrick. And a sweet finish to get the ball around Johannes. It was everything the first effort wasn't.
in the corner, away from the goalkeeper. Graham Hansen going for goal, and it's in. Needed the slither of the post, but Barcelona have opened up some light between the two. And just when hope of managing what's been so often the impossible might have been building for Frankfurt. Well, the star of the show in the Super Cup, but was the one to finish off in style here. Got ahead of Greve, pulled the shot away. And it's been a good showing from Bezel, who came on at half-time, but she couldn't get behind this. And a bit of help from the upright to steer it home.